yeah hello guys you are highly welcome to another amazing tutorial on novelty fashion channel on this video i'll be showing you how to set patch pockets the pocket is very simple for a beginner to easily understand and then make use of so if this if this is the first time you are checking on this channel you are highly welcome to novelty fashion channel this is the channel that brings you the easiest fastest and the simplest method on how to draft cut or sew anything on the men's dress so without any further delay let's jump to the video and the first thing you have to do here is to cut the color stay for the pocket so i'm cutting the two the same is the, the same size the two is the same size so which i'm cutting for the for the two then the first thing you have to do don't mind this uh, line on the the other one so it's just the rough line that i've come roll on the stay before so on this side you mark a uh, 0 0.7 on this uh, first side the other side as well you mark uh, 0 0.7 and then you roll it uh, straight and then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that a lot of people will be able to benefit from it and they too will be able to learn how to make this uh, pocket so after you do that and the bottom line like this you fold the two together and then you measure one inch so you measure one inch at the bottom line like this then you roll it straight that's it so once you are done with this the next thing is to cut the shape out so but i've forgotten to tell you the size of the of the pocket so the wideness of this is a uh, 4.5 so that is the wideness of the pocket and then the length is a uh, five inches so that is the average measurement for the for the patch pocket so you just cut out the shape like this so on this on the line which we have already rolled so that is it so the second one now you just trim out a little like a 0 0.2 from from the edge or 0.1 from the from the edge so make it a little bit uh, tiny so that is it so just cut it out from this uh, second one so the the other one here you mark a uh, 0.5 on this side mark 0.5 on this side and on the other side as well mark 0.5 and you roll it straight On the bottom line at the down part here you mark a 0.7 not up to one inch you mark 0.7 and then you roll it straight to give it a v-shape so here now you now cut out the shape as it was in the first one so make sure you the cutting is straight so that the edge of the design will come out very nice so that is it so these are the material that i'm using this is the flower material so the first one we cut the same size you place it on the other one and this one you place it on this one then you can take another pieces of material to gum this uh, other one so this is the material we are using for this so we are not needing this yet we don't need this yet and then you measure the distance here so make sure that the thing is straight from bottom to up here so make sure that it's straight and then use your hand to secure it and then you press it very well press the three and have to press it so just trim out the excess on this uh, on the material so trim out the excess so we trim it at in, in, on inside like this and then leaving like a 0 0.5 after you have it done with this then the next thing to do is to notch this uh, angle so just notch it like this notch it like this so make sure that the notching is not too much so that we not have a rough at the at the edge so just use a aiming gum to gum the edge Round that is the inside for 
fold it like this and then make sure that it's very firm to the collar stay and then you go meet straight the end as well the the bottom you gum this side also make sure you take your time to do this so that is it so the next thing to do is to gum this uh, other one gum the inside of this one as well and then the outside of this one you also gum the outside also Please make sure you take your time to do this. Don't rush because it can be a little bit uh, tedious. So give it a nice uh, shape at the bottom and make sure that it's very firm to the color stay so that it will have a very nice result. So this edge now, you can just iron the edge to have the place where the stay end. So at the place where the stay end now, that is the point where you are folding. So this is the other one now. You take another color stay and then you cut it into one inch. Cut it into one inch. And then the length now, the length of this one will be the from this angle. You give it a V shape. From this angle now, you end it at the point where the color stay ended here. You can see that. So that is the point where you are to cut the length of this. So make sure that it's no longer than the length on the on the collar stay here. So that is it. So you stop at this edge. Then you press it on this uh, material. Here now you use a aiming gum to secure the edge round. And this is it. So now. So these are the bend the edge of this one also. Bend the edge of this one as well. So this to make you know where the color stay ended on the material. And that is it. So the next thing to do now is to proceed to the sewing machine. So here now the first thing you have to do is to prepare the loop for the for the pocket so this is a 1.5 and then the length is a 5.5 so you fold it like this you fold it like this and then you stitch it straight down then you pull it inside trim the excess and then you pull it in Mm -hmm. So now the next thing to do is to press it like this. After you have a press it, then the next thing to do is to give it a shape. So just hold it like this. Hold it like this from the back and turn it like this. You turn the other side as well. Then you stitch it. That is it. see that so now you take the flower material cut the excess here which we fold before you cut it like this and the excess of the on this one at the upper part as where well, you cut it out the next thing to do here is to get the center of the color stay so get the center here this is a five point 4.5 and then you get the center which is a 2.2 .2. so you can now notch it to make you know where it fall at the front so you place this center on it you place it at the center and then you stitch it round Stitch it round like this, and that is it. 
So you take the second one as well. And you cut the edge which we folded before. You cut it at the point where we folded it before. And then you place it on it. You can see that. So you measure the center, measure it. So this the distance here is a 1.5 and then make sure that you are having the same thing at the upper parts because if K is not taken, the upper parts may be a little bit wider than the down parts and that will not be very good. So you just mark where 1.5 is here and mark it on the other side. Then you place the, you place the, the stay on it, place it like this and then make sure you watch the distance and then it's straight all through please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please click on the subscribe button and then you turn on your notification bell so that you'll be able to enjoy a lot of videos on this uh, channel and when next i bring you another amazing tutorial like this you'll be able to get a notification and if you are yet to click the like button, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that a lot of people will be able to benefit and they too will be able to gain from this video as well. So that is it. The next thing to do is to take this, uh, the last one. The last one, the distance here is not uh, up to 3 inches. So the distance here is uh, 2.8. So you know, the next thing to do is to place it the same way we place the other one. You can now fold this one, the, the pro, and then you place the center on it like this to get the place where the the 2.8 ended. You can see where it is, and then you place it very close to this one. So you now trim out this one. You trim the edge here as well, and then you place it on the material like this. So you make it very close, you make it very close like this, make it very close like this, and then you stitch it straight, make sure you take your time to do this, and then make sure that the stitches fall at the edge. Of the of the pockets so this will help you achieve a very nice result at the end so make sure that the stitches is very straight the next thing you have to do here is to trim this uh, edge and make it a uh, straight and that is it so here now you place the loop on it and then you measure it make it a uh, 1.5 so it's a uh, 1.5 so that's the length of the loop here then you stitch it straight so that is it so you turn it to the ins you turn it like this and then you secure it with a little stitch once you are done with this you turn it inside like this and then you trim the s's trim this excess out and then the next thing to do now is to take another material which is a 2.5 and then the length can be like a 10 inches so now this is the back you place it on it like this and then you turn it over and then stitch it straight down with a 0.6 make it more than a 0.5 and then you stitch it straight make sure that the stitch it is straight all through that's a 0.6 and that is it so the next thing to do now is to proceed to the table and do the ironing so we first iron it from inside like this so once you are done with that you turn it inside like this and then you turn it over and then make sure that it's very firm to the edge it's firm to the edge and then you press it very well so you apply hemming gum inside 
and then you press the side like this and then make sure it's firm to the steel if you like you can apply emmy gum on this edge so you can apply emmy gum on the edge as well if you like but on this one i'm not uh, doing that So that is it and here is the result of what you have been doing you can fix a button on this uh, loop and you can see how nice and beautiful the pocket is please if you derive value in this video please let me give this video a thumbs up and then if you are yet to subscribe make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop an amazing video like this again till the next time that i bring you another awesome video like this again I say thank you for watching and uh, remain blessed. Bye for now.